guys, today I'm going to be showing you part 3 of how to make a laser show using Cubic. So let's get started. In the last two parts, I showed you how to install some very cool programs, install in a different desktop environment, and make it the default desktop environment. Okay, now we are ready to click on this next button to compile it all into an ISO file and then run it to VirtualBox. So click on next. And now it's just gonna do a few things. And after that, it's gonna ask us what do we want to remove and what we want to keep. So here you can choose what you want to keep. I, uh, most of the times leave everything as default, but you can change what you want. I'm gonna leave the GNOME terminal check since I like that. Click on next and then select the version 5.15.43. Click on next and then just like gzip for the compression. And I like it since it every single time works and there are no errors when I use it. Okay, now we can click on generate. And now it's gonna compile it on an ISO file. So what I'll do is I'll be back once all of this is done. So we finished copying everything and created a ISO file. Now we just go into our test OS folder. Uh, I already put it on my desktop, but for you it would be in your, it would be here. In the test OS folder, I already put it on my desktop. Okay, now open up VirtualBox, so just open it, click on new, name it something, row it to your operating system, I'm just going to call test OS, type Linux, and for the version, I'm going to 64 bit, I'm not even going to go too deep into how to make, into how to make a virtual machine, you pretty much already know that, if you watch my videos, you probably know that my channel is pretty much related to VirtualBox. Now we can start it. I'm gonna enter scale the mode. There we go. You see much better now? Go try and install Ubuntu, it just says Ubuntu. And of course we didn't change the boot screen, but if you want to make, for me to make a video on changing the boot screen, leave a comment down in the comment section. Okay, so wait for it to load and we're gonna hear that Ubuntu startup sound. And we're gonna click on try. We don't wanna install it. We just wanna get a quick feel. See all the programs we installed. So wait for it to load up. This is just a sad background, but obviously we made the Ubuntu desktop the default desktop environment. And that's still reflected. So if we click on try, it's gonna load Lubuntu desktop. But to show you the tweaks, we have to log out and log into the Lubuntu desktop environment. Of course, that wonderful Lubuntu startup sound. And click on try Ubuntu. Obviously, this isn't Ubuntu, but it, it's test OS. It just doesn't say, say that here. Wait for it to load our desktop and to load the Ubuntu desktop environment. As you can see, close out this. Let's see all the programs we installed, like tweaks. Actually, we can't open that here, but decomp editor definitely. Can launch that. And in um, once we log out, I'm gonna show you in a couple of seconds how to make the dock look like a Mac dock. But let's check out some more programs we installed. Wim. Also, to check uh, Wine, we have to fire up a terminal. To do that, just type in the draw T. Oh, I forgot it opens my terminal and not this terminal. Just type in terminal in here. Launch a cube terminal. Type in decomp. Oh, 
actually not geek I'm just even wine there's dash version and there you go it says wine 6.0.3 which is the version of wine we are using okay we can close our terminal now and we're gonna log out actually into GNOME. So I wanna show you GNOME some more programs we installed. We'll just log out. And here we go, just change the section to a bunch of Wayland. And the password for the live session user is nothing, so just press enter. Let's go over GNOME now. And I'm gonna first it creates a bunch of these icons. Actually, um, Cubic created all of these icons for us on the desktop, but we don't need any of these now, so we can just move all of them to trash. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at Tweaks, which is another program we installed. No Tweaks is right, there we go. And we're gonna first change the icons to Pepperies. By any means, this is not a Linux customization tutorial. But if you want to see a Linux customization tutorial, I'll leave my Linux customization tutorial while I show you how to make a bunch of the way you want it to look in the description down below. So if you want to check that out, you can. Okay, now we're gonna open up the competitor and show you how to make it look like Mac OS a couple of seconds. So launch the competitor, click on I'll be careful. Now make it to org, GNOME. Shell extensions dash the doc doc position first first disable doc fix so it can be hided every time you launch it every time you launch a program in full screen is gonna hide go to the bottom yes and now let's go to um, extend height, which with this one setting and make it look 10 times like a Mac Doc. And of course, I like to change the background, so I'm gonna do that and change it to my favorite background, which is of course this one. Close, and there we go. Actually, right now my current Ubuntu desktop looks like this. So, this is pretty much it. We have installed all the stuff you ever need, compiled it to an ISO file, and now we're ready to VirtualBox. So, that's pretty much it for the series of Audio Baker Linux Visual using Cubic. If you have a recommendation for a, for a new series or a new video project, just leave it down in the comments. Make sure you comment and subscribe. And with all that said, bye!